Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. It's been a while since I did my last video and it's about one week ago. I have not logged into the game since then. Uh, hopefully, this game doesn't have daily rewards. If not, I'm totally gonna regret not logging in because I've been busy with Uta Macross and uh, well work there's work as well and other stuff so hey guys let's dive back into the game oh okay so i'm gonna do a quick download that was fast nah. hey we have brock greeting us there you are, Salan Ciel. Are you ready for a Pokemon battle? Oh, we can actually auto the story. Okay, let's do that. As long as you have blah blah blah, I cannot read that because it's too fast. <laughs> oh no! There is daily lock in. Okay, so at this point of time that I'm recording, it's the 7th of September. Uh, it's un what? When is this until? Oh, it's until 17th of October. Oh, okay, okay. I still can clear all the rewards. That's a lot of stones. 200 each. Uh, I'm not sure how many stones or gems is required for a gacha pool, so let's go find out. Hmm. Oh no, there is another separate daily login as well. This one ends on the 12th of September, which is another 5 days time. I cannot collect them all. Oh, that's not a good thing. Oh well. Alright, so... Um, like I posted on the Facebook page for my YouTube channel, um, this current scout is featuring blue uh, or green, whichever version you recognize him from. Uh, blue is from the American version of the Pokemon Special comics or the games. Then green is for the Japanese version. So yeah. Um, apparently there's quite a few bugs going on with the game um, recently. Uh, yeah, and I think Dana has actually fixed the problems. Uh, so apparently there's this interesting way of um, speaking the company's name out in, among the American people. Uh, I know um, Gerard, the completionist, pronounces Dana as D-N-A. Uh, I don't know where he gets his pronunciation from, but um, watching the Uta Macross broadcast and having the um, like the creator and I'm not say creator, more like the um, person in charge of Uta Macross, you know, whenever they say their own company's name, she pronounces it as Dana. So I'm not too sure why uh, people pronounce it as D and A, but it would be a pretty smart idea if. The company was named DNA, spelled in this way. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Alright, so let's see. We've got exclamation marks here. Let's just claim all of these items for scouting. Oh my goodness. So I've been I'll be losing out items for scouting from the daily rewards. Oh no. Okay, so this is the news tab. So let's take a look at the shop first. Um Sync Pair Scout. So there we go. So oh to get a 10 draw, you need 3,000 gems and stones. I don't know what you call it. Let's take a look at the shop. Uh, maybe they can give us a rough idea of what they are called. Uh, where's the shop button? I mean, it's in purchasing of the stones or the gems. Okay, here we go. Purchase gems. Uh, they call it gems here, so... Okay. There is a discounted set of gems going on right now. Uh, 3,002. Normally priced at 3,500 yen. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I want to invest into this game uh, yet. Because <laughs> Uta Macross is taking up quite a bit of my money. And it is the one of the main mobile games that I'm currently featuring on my YouTube channel. So yeah, guys, if you are interested in the Macross series, if you don't know what the Macross series is about, go ahead and look for the anime, uh, watch it, and then of course, if you're interested to play the music game that Dana has created, same company that um, Pokemon Masters is under, 
Um, yeah, just give the game a try. And of course, if you need help with the game, my tutorial videos are all here on my YouTube channel. Alright, so let's take a look at um, Pokemon Masters. I'm still figuring out. Misty has something to say though, so let's talk to her. <laughs> I'm so excited for the Pokemon Masters League. Only, oh god, I should switch off auto. <laughs> if I get a chance to battle it out, I'd love to go up against a certain Ice type trainer. Ice type trainer? Oh! Lore uh, I cannot pronounce the name. How do you pronounce the name? Lorelei. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you know how to pronounce it, um, try and type it out in the comments down below. I don't know. There are a lot of these Pokemon names. Unless you watch the anime series, um, you probably won't know how to pronounce them. Um, especially if you watch the American dub version. I don't know. Because the names are definitely from the American versions instead of the Japanese names or these trainers. Like Misty is known as Kasumi in Japanese. So yeah. From the Indigo League Elite 4 in Kent. Oh. Oh. It's that lady with the Lapras. Okay. So I'll show her what an all out offensive looks like. Okay. So. Apparently all of them have exclamation marks on them. I know Whitney is another gym leader. Hasio really is a nice place, ain't it? I sure think it is. I've never seen scenery like this back home. The girls and the Pokemon are all so cute too. <laughs> well, none of them are quite as cute as yours truly though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she heard me laugh! <laughs> oh god. I heard there was a festival or something, so I decided to come join. I'm glad I did, and uh, this is a perfect... Uh, what? Spot for vacation? Okay. Although festivals in Golden Rock City, where, where I'm from, are even bigger and brighter than this. Then why come here? Oh well. Rosa. There are so many different trainers from all over the world gathered here on Pasio right now. The Pokemon everyone's brought along are also different too. I hope I get the chance to battle each and every one of them. Aren't you supposed to be like collecting all of them to complete the Pokedex? Yes. You know what? I will battle them all. I'm gonna make it for sure. Oh. Okay. I I don't know. I've I think I've never played the the Pokemon game with Rosa in it. I, I think I skipped it. I can't remember which generation she's from. So this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know. As a trainer, I'll be silly to pass it up. She's exactly like Ash. Oh my god. <laughs> All about Pokemon battles. If you see an attack type that your opponent's Pokemon is weak against, you can do a lot of damage. But I found a type that is stronger than all other types. <laughs> that is the adorable type. Adorable nurse is the one. What, are, what is this? A, a tough and rough looking guy with a soft spot. <laughs> okay. My mom and my dad are both ace trainers. So imagine me becoming a punk girl. They were like, whoa, hold up, say what? They got so jealous. Wait, what? So the parents want to be punks? I got transported here by part. What? I got transported here to Pasio before. I really knew what was happening, and now I'm competing in the PML. But like, when the tournament's over, we'll all have to go back home, right? After hanging out with all the cool people here, going exploring all the time, I don't want to leave. I'll like totally swap sides and be a host or something. I could welcome people to pass here, you know? Hmm. So imagine this was like a parallel world where all the gym leaders, the trainers uh, from the Pokemon worlds from different generations are all like kidnapped and brought here to fight <laughs> battle royales. <laughs> so I that's what I get from this. Um, this game is feel okay. So let's. I don't think I can change anything from my team. So let's continue with the story again. Sing pair stories unlocked. 
choose a sync pair story to go on an adventure and get to know your fellow teammates. For some sync pairs, leveling up and can unlock special area info for evolving Pokemon. However, evolution shards and evolution crystals are required. Uh, complete this special sync pair story to evolve your Pokemon and make this sync pair even stronger. Okay, so let's go do that first. Um, I guess Rosa. Day with Rosa. Let's see what she has for us. Okay. Alright, I'll show you how it's done. Why, well, cause I'm the most powerful trainer in the world, that's why. I I'm, I'm pretty surprised that her skirt is like defying gravity, the side is like being lifted up so high. <laughs> you sound like blue. Oh, she didn't notice I came in? Oh dear, I have like notifications popping up. Oh, that's not a good thing. Uh, give me a sec guys, I'm going to turn off notifications. Okay, you guessed correctly, I was trying to do Blue's voice. See, Snivy and I have been practicing our acting skills. Not many people know this, but I actually did some movie acting for a little while back in the Nova region. Uh, are you talking about the episode? Uh, okay. Are you an actress? Oh no, nothing like that. In Unova, there is this awesome place called Poker Star Studios where movies are made. Ah, uh, I don't recall what game it was, but yeah, I definitely did not play that, even though I have it. <laughs> I should really find time to play it. <laughs> and Snivy and I acted together in some of the movies produced there. Uh, Snivy is really proud, eh? That's so cool. If you ever visit the Unova region, I'll definitely give you a tour. Anyway, Snivy and I have been keeping on top of our acting skills so that we can star in another movie someday. But recently I realized something. When you break it all down, acting is a lot like imitating other people. You just do whatever they do. In other words, if I try to act just like the trainers I battle against, or just imitate lots of other trainers in general. Yes. Maybe I can learn to do all sorts of new things too, just like them. The possibilities are endless. After all, if you want to act like someone else, you have to put yourself in their shoes. You learn how they think and how they battle. That totally makes sense. Yeah, we could try it out together if you want. <laughs> it's okay if you've never acted before, Snivy will be keeping an eye on you. Yeah, Snivy has that very gigantic eye. Kind of creepy. Snivy's got a great eye. Yeah, you can see it staring at me right now. <laughs> she can tell if you're totally in character or not. <laughs> see, your aura kind of changes when you take it on in a row and you really embody that character. And little Snivy here is ultra sensitive to that sort of thing. I think it's like uh, one of those things that only a Pokemon can truly sense, you know? <laughs> Snivy's always on the lookout even during Pokemon battles, she watches her opponents really carefully. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I think so too! The next time we battle against you, Snivy and I will have to study the way you do things too. So that we can imitate you someday. Oh god, no, please. <laughs> always be me in the end though. That's never gonna change. So is Rosa like the grown-up version of the copycat girl? Huh. I'll study a bunch of trainers and learn what I can from imitating them, but I'm not gonna copy whatever they do. I'm gonna take all the new knowledge and experience and use it to flavor my own battle style, and I'm gonna win. So is this a story and I get 10 gems? Cool. Okay, so I guess the next one should be a battle? No? No battle? Seriously? Okay. Um, let's go on with the main story. There's a co-op mode. How do we play co-op mode? Okay. Uh, anyways, I guess we have to probably find friends to add first. Oh. 
So we're gonna add some more friends. Barry. I remember his name was different. Uh, I, I did watch the Japanese anime, so... Hmm. This way, Barry should be just up ahead. <laughs> Hurry up, I want to introduce you all. <laughs> okay, okay, hold your horsey. What kind of person is this Barry anyway? <sighs> hmm. I think I'll describe Barry as a pretty straightforward, pure-hearted, nice guy sort of trainer. <laughs> He's always so earnest and sincere, I feel like I could learn a lot from him. Oh, and on top of all that, he's also a really great Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Even Cynthia speaks highly of him. <laughs> wow, really? I'm looking forward to meet this Barry now. <laughs> well, come on. Let's hurry. Rosa Pokemon uses grass type moves, so having her on your team will give it. Okay, so I guess Barry uses like ground, I mean rock, water, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna change ro Brock out. Come on, edit. There we go. Let's use Rosa. So if it's weak against. No, nah, because the thing about Pokemon Masters is all the Pokemon doesn't have their. Double weaknesses, uh, like the normal video games do. So I guess you just have to, you know, do they have preset teams. Oh. You can actually save team team um, like arrangements. That's pretty cool. So recommended types: electric and grass. I don't know. Do we have any other team members that we can use? Electric and grass, I guess not. So, okay, let's just go with Milk Tank. Alright, let's go! So, I guess we have to fight a bunch of them before we get to Barry. Hmm. I am a good breaststroke freestyle butterfly, and of course, Pokemon battles. Oh my god, there's three of them! That is so creepy. I kinda like how they are designed, you know, like they have um the ten lines of their like waters and all that kind of stuff. That's XP. Oh, Snivy takes a while to charge up. Seems like Pikachu is more effective this round. Yeah. Pikachu really is fast. Nice. Did I just lose a Pokemon battle even though I'm so good at it? Fine, I'll swim like a Wilma on my back from now on for training. <laughs> That's not training. <laughs> sink pair alert, sink pair alert. We if we take your strong Pokemon, we will get stronger. Wait, are they the Team Rocket of this game? Hmm. Seems like it. Wonder what they are called. The bit off is weak against electric? Pretty strange. So yeah, um, apparently Snivy takes a long time to charge up. There we go.
So this game you can actually auto play as well. So I don't know. I don't really find a kick out of it, uh, unless you're probably grinding for resources and all that kind of stuff. Mm, so did we not prepare well enough? Retreat. Hey, okay, level up. So I wonder what the max levels are the for the uh, for the Pokemon in this game. Like their their evolutions, do they have a different kind of max level? Lots of items. Ah, I don't. I still don't know what are important. So we we'll probably have to play a bit more to find out. Um, I'm currently not following any uh, social media groups regarding Pokemon Masters. I'm just doing this all on my own, just like I do for Utah My Cross. So it's more fun this way to fight, figure out things yourself. Well, since you're a first-time customer, we'd like to offer you a training machine for free of charge. Cool. By the way, you can use training machines to, you guessed it, train your Pokemon partner to improve their strength. Why don't you try using this training machine to teach your Pikachu a new move? Okay. I guess I have no choice. Thunderbolt. Hmm. Wow, nice work! Your Pikachu looks stronger than ever. <laughs> yep, that training machine sure seems to have done the trick. I'll have to keep plenty in stock. Come again soon. Okay. So apparently in this game, your Pokemons do have four different slots. Jump start. So you oh okay, so you need all these items to learn. Um I guess this ability? Hmm. Ah, okay. So, even the items attached to the Pokemon are different. You can probably upgrade them, I guess, somehow with some kind of TM, I suppose. Increase potential. You can use star power to increase the Sync Pass number of stars and help them grow stronger. So, let's see what can we use. Uh, to increase the sync pass number of stars. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, we don't have any, that's why we can't use them. <laughs> okay, level up. You can use level up manuals to help your sync pass uh, gain experience and level up. So, I guess in order to evolve the Pokemon, you have to uh, have them at a max level. So, this one gives you. How many XP? Doesn't really say. Just shows you the level that they increase. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you can sort your um, trainers accordingly. Hmm. How do you sort them? Oh, okay, there's even a filter, so that's handy. Hmm. Okay, probably have to go and figure things out a bit more. Alright, so. Every time you re-enter the area, I guess all the trainers have something to say. I don't know, do they actually give you anything by talking to them? So let's try... Uh, I'm just gonna skip all the text just to see whether they actually give you anything. I'm sure like the most of the texts are all repeated stuff. So let's just figure things out here. So, so far nothing given. Yeah, nothing is given at all. Okay. So let's go with the. What's explore? Oh. Okay, so team. I don't know. Can we type out the Pokedex? Um. Okay, so this is my friend ID, I suppose. So. If you are looking to add friends. Well, I definitely am, so you can go ahead and add me up. Again, okay. so Pokedex. Wow, look at all that train, all the trainers that you can actually sculpt. Okay, 
Manage account. Oh yeah, it's already linked. Okay. So we're going back to the story again. Let's do another sync pair. Let's start with Whitney. What are you doing there, Milk Tank? What? Encounter a rambunctious? What kind of English words are they using? Oh my goodness. Pink object bouncing around. Is it a post? It's definitely Milk Tank. What are you talking about? Are you guys blind? <laughs> Go ahead and roll out. Incredibly, the pink object turned it out to be a uh, Whitney's Milk Tank. Sorry if we scared you, Milk Tank and I were just playing a little. Yeah, you get it. Sometimes you gotta let your hair down. When I'm here, it sure does make me feel relaxed. Oceans and ranches, that's what we're all about, after all. Oceans and ranches? Things look a little different where I come from, but there's an ocean right by my hometown of Goldenrod City, too. Uh, and Milk Tang grew up on a ranch, that's where I first met her. Thinking about it, it takes me back to that first time I ever went to visit that ranch. All of a sudden, Milk Tang news rolled out and came right at me. It was like she was trying to test me. Well, I guess. I can't be sure, but I think Milk Tang was looking for someone to come and take her away from that ranch. But not just anyone, she used that move to see if I was the right trainer for her. Although I didn't know that at that time. Of course, I dodged her roll out, but I wondered what in the world was going on. But then she just kept coming at me, bumping into me, sending me flying and I found that determination so adorable. Before I knew it, Milk Tank and I were playing together all the time. And the wrench let you take her? <laughs> That's... you just... I don't know. Is that considered stealing? An old guy at the wrench told me I could have Milk Tank. I mean, he actually was happy to have me take her off, he said. Milk Tank, were you a nuisance? <laughs> he said it seemed like Milk Tank had always wanted to leave the ranch and see the world. That's why I try to make sure Milk Tank does more than just battle. She has to enjoy herself while she's out seeing the world too. I gotta make her new life better than her life back on French. I don't want her to regret leaving her home. I'm sure she's happy. I hope you're right. I mean, Milk Tank seems happy. Look at it bouncing around behind you. To, to be honest, I don't really know what's best for Milk Tank. But I do know that she's she knows I'm trying to do my best for her. So I hope she stays with me for a long time. That will be the best. At least that's how I feel about it. I don't know. We, we don't really know how long a Pokemon's lifespan is. Um, we do know that they can die and become ghastly or rather ghost Pokemon. Um, so far, we have yet to see a Pokemon trainer outliving any of their Pokemon, I think. You know, other than maybe accident deaths and that kind of stuff, but dying of old age before the Pokemon, uh, we have rarely seen any of that. Or I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Alright, so back to the main story.